Welcome back to Good Day. Well, as you know, our Good Day garden has been going crazy as long as we can fend off the critters. Now, uh, Amanda, you're regularly bringing in baskets full of cherry yep. tomatoes, which I then take um, peppers <laughs> and other produce from the Good Day garden into the newsroom. Yep. And so, of course, you might be experiencing an overabundance of garden goodies as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time to sneak a zucchini or some tomatoes or peppers onto your neighbor's porch. Amy Stone and Patrice Powers Baker from the OSU Extension are here to explain. And when we say your neighbor's porch, in this case, we're saying your porch at OSU Extension because you've got something fun going on, right? Absolutely. So there is a national holiday called Sneak a Zucchini on your neighbor's front porch. It's a real thing, people. It is. I don't Be get out much. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> because this time of the year, mm -hmm. our gardens are like in full gear. Yeah. And so often there's more produce than we can handle as a family. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that that produce gets shared. Right, we don't want so to So we're doing waste. a little twist okay. that you can bring that extra produce, those mm -hmm. extra zucchini to our office, and then we'll distribute it to, to local food pantries. Oh, wonderful. Have we failed as farmers if we don't have the infant-sized zucchini? This is the elephant in the room right now. Quite literally. It is the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did so, this thing get this big? Explain, Patrice, explain. Well, very much like Amy said, if you grow zucchini or even other plants that grow a lot, um, mm -hmm. it may grow faster than you're able to harvest and sometimes those zucchini like um, they hide so this is if you're <laughs> going to do leaves, something like know? a salad sure. or maybe slice this up and just saute yes. it yes. you know that smaller zucchini is going to be more tender yes. um, the seeds are very tiny okay. so this is one size that you might find and use okay now if you leave it over the weekend it might grow this <laughs> fast My and that's very if large as well yes. <laughs> have a hidden one or didn't know that they were starting to produce it would go this large which come, come. that's Lift. pretty large be, be yes. proud Oh, so, like I said, if you want to harvest them like this, sure. we, we would, you know, people enjoy that. But this could become a zucchini boat. This we could um, cut out the seeds and shred it up and bake something. Oh, okay. I mean, we really can use all of it. And just like the zucchini is very versatile, um, mm -hmm. we, we want to highlight that our office, you know, if you have questions about gardening or mm -hmm. questions about nutrition or um, kind of across the gamut, mm -hmm. and this zucchini day is a way to share that extra mm -hmm. or to maybe decide how you might want to use this overabundance. Zucchini bread? Oh, my stars. Yes. I like it. Yes. Loaves. Loaves, yes. Loaves. Yes. 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 I mean, you're getting a lot of zucchini out of this. Yes. You know, and it's a, they, they say zucchini, but um, you're, you're saying any kind of produce that you might have. I know we do have a lot of um, jalapeno peppers mm -hmm. out in mm -hmm. our garden mm -hmm. that we, you know, the, the staff here is just like, well, I can't, what I, you know, we can't, what do I do with all this? Um, and a lot of cherry tomatoes, too. And so, I mean, but there's nothing that, and they taste so good, too. There's nothing better than that fresh produce right from the garden, right? And gardeners are givers. And so mm -hmm. we know that, you know, they share with their neighbors, but this is just an extra little special thing to do mm -hmm. in our community um, to bring awareness and then get that food where people need it. Yeah, and I love your, that you're doing that because so many times when I bring that basket into yes. the newsroom, Tatiana does her part uh, and, she right. and she takes Everyone a else. handful. <laughs> but yeah, uh, sometimes we do have some leftover and it, like, it breaks my heart. I'm like, no, we can't let it go. We can't let it go to waste. So uh, people can definitely eat this nutritious food and um, make some recipes with it and you brought Tell a little us. something yeah. with you today too what that you have? can do with a zucchini. So this recipe called, is called the three sisters recipe mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna make a really good base that you can then add or change it up however you okay. want. Okay. So the three sisters meaning that if you garden you might know that that it's the corn, the squash, and the beans. Okay. You can grow them together in the garden. Uh -huh. So this is some corn. I did the recipe. It's online on our website. Mm -hmm. This is actually canned corn but okay. we could use fresh corn. Sure. Um, and then chopped zucchini does not have a ton of flavor so it'll kind of mm -hmm. take on whatever it's with okay. and then um, whatever kind of beans so these are cannelli beans the white kidney beans mm -hmm. but um, you know we could do a zucchini boat and put the black beans in there mm -hmm. and add some salsa you know oh, what I mean no. whatever flavor like and then it, like stuff it, it that like way it. Hmm. so this um, it also called for cilantro but I put basil in instead whatever you've got you know everybody is a cilantro fan this is true. but that's how we can mix it up so um, and then there's a little bit of lime juice in there so oh, it's pretty nice it's a pretty basic recipe but mm -hmm. It's very nutritious and then you can kind of mix it up however mm -hmm. you want and what you have. And certainly you could add tomatoes or onions or whatever. So, so you have the three these, sister salad. You have <laughs> these types of recipes for people to get on your website. I wouldn't yes. have thought that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can go to OSU Extension's mm -hmm. website and get recipes. Who knew, right? Yes. I'm well, we want to encourage you to eat the fresh produce. And, ah. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. We're going to do you. that because, mm -hmm. you know, and I was just saying we've got yeah. a lot of herbs out there, too. So I love that you use the okay. fresh herbs, too. We'll get you some. Mm. So what do you think? Oh, I love that basil. Very healthy. Mm -hmm. I like this. Delicious. So good. 
-hmm. Another thing that people can do with their excess produce, and they probably do, is can it, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have a couple classes coming up, don't you, for canning? We do. We have mm -hmm. a couple basic canning mm -hmm. classes coming up in August. Um, they'll be located um, at two of our local library sites. and. Um, but it's an introduction to canning, so people know if they have to, safely we can water bath some things, we have to pressure can others, but maybe people might want to freeze, or then, um, I don't, zucchini isn't as good for drying, but tomatoes right. can be, so it kind of depends oh. what you're growing, what your end result is, how mm -hmm. you're going to use it, okay. but um, yeah, there's a lot of ways that we can um, extend that extend harvest. Extend that, yeah. yeah. I remember growing up, my grandfather had a garden, and I, one of my favorite snacks was yeah. stewed tomatoes from the can from mm -hmm. his garden. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. With salt and pepper on there, you know, and I mm -hmm. see that all the time as a kid. So great memories of oh, eating right from the garden. Good. Beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Again, remind everybody if they want to drop their zucchini and all their other excess where produce, when? where and when? Right. It's going to be Thursday, okay. August the 8th from 7 a.m. until noon mm -hmm. at our office at the Toledo Botanical Garden. And so you'll enter off of the Elmer Drive okay. side. Okay. Come in that side. And then while you're there, you may as well just enjoy the beautiful garden, right? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. There. Just yep. gorgeous. Very good. Absolutely. Ladies, thank you so much Aww. for coming. That was delicious, too. Very fresh, yes. right? Aww. You oh, read. I'm going to eat some more. Okay. Oh. When we come back, we're giving it away this Thursday. And now there's more chances for you to take a look inside. We're talking St. Jude Dream Home and how you still have a chance to win this amazing house and when you can see it coming up next I'm gonna finish mine too mm -hmm.